The Hawaiians and the Mediterraneans love their octopus, but I find lots of us Aussies aren't too big on it because if it's not cooked and prepared correctly, it can be very tough. But today, I'm gonna change your mind. <laughs> Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you my techniques how to catch and cook oki that you'll never swim past another one again. I'm cooking grilled octopus with a fresh herb vinaigrette. I'm Drew from Man Alive, let's do it. First crate for the day. It was a bit of a struggle. It was pretty deep, but I ended up getting him. So uh, he's a definitely a legal one. He's going in the bag. There's a couple more down there. I'm gonna see if I can get him. Oh, you got him. Oh shit, he's a nice one too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think he might be a bit bigger. Give me a look. I think it's a bit bigger, mate. Just what I was going for the first time. Oh, is it? Is there any more in there? No. Uh, I'll have a quick look. First of all, I just need a bit of more confidence. I feel better now you're here. Mate, that's a long way in there. He's a long way back, eh? I, didn't I reckon we'll find some easier ones over there. Right. Okay, so I've convinced Dave. We're gonna pull the pin on this side. This is just atrocious. White caps everywhere. As well as pick it up. It's really bloody hard work fighting against these currents and the wind and the and getting smashed on the rocks. We've got our we've got a good cray each. So I know another spot. She'll be able to get out there, get a couple of easy crays, and head back. We'll see you over there. Now on our swim between spots, the movement on the bottom was so slight, I almost didn't pick it up, but he gave himself away. Take a look in the middle bottom of your screen, sitting on the rock. The Oki I'd been looking for. Thanks. 
So this is a bit of footage from 12 months ago and it shows better what I should have done. I'm not stabbing the octopus, I'm just giving it a few pokes and generally they'll release from the rocks. When they try and escape, that's when you grab them. On this particular day, it was the octopus's lucky day. He was released unharmed. Watch him now as he changes colour and texture to camouflage to his background. So we're just about to head in. Uh, we're going to head around, back around on the other side into the other bay. Uh, although we did have reports of a bull shark in there where a couple of other divers had got out just as we were jumping in. They said they seen a big bull shark. So, uh, I don't know how true that is or how big the shark is, but uh, anyway, I'm going to head that way because I know a couple of good cray spots over there. So hopefully we get a couple more crays and we don't see the shark. See you around there. Now what happened next was interesting. Both Dave and I seen a snapper on the edge of the reef in the distance and we both took a dive. Top right hand corner of your screen, he was no monster but he was a good fish. I should have known dive bombing a snapper was never going to work. Without the correct technique and cover, they can be tricky to hunt. So we finally reached our last spot and my dinner was exactly where I thought it would be. So we just got back in, been in the water for about three hours. I was cramping up big time in that last 20 minutes, but I've got a couple of good crays. And I've got a really good cray, that's a really good one. And that's a pretty good one, and a nice hockey. Overall, another great day in the water, but what I'm really interested in is grilling up this octopus. I've got my usual two crays, got my bag limit, but what it's all about today is this beautiful octopus. I'm gonna clean my gear, prep my food, and start cooking. So I'm just giving you a look here at my spring onions. You can see down here, that's where they're previously cut. I'm gonna grab one of these back ones for today. Chop it down nice and low and it will continue to grow. Have a go at my coriander since the last episode. It's doubled in size. It's absolutely booting along. I'm gonna grab some of that. Oh, yum. If you've never grown your own coriander, give it a go. The smell is unbelievable. Way better than in the store. Hey guys, so as I prep up this morning, I'm just gonna give you a look at my cooking station uh, where I cook everything at home. So first we've got my wood-fired pizza oven, which I absolutely love. Cook on that quite regularly. And of course, every man needs several axes. My next is my big barbecue. I've got my barbecue, the hot plates, the grill plates, the spit roast accessory, and the griller at the back with the wok burner on the side, flat hot plate barbecue and my Weber kettle which I also love grilling which you've probably seen in previous episodes that's also a ripper my wife thinks I've got too many barbecues but I tell her you can never have enough look at all those yummy octopus tentacles you know how good they're gonna be give it a dunk you can see the legs curl up two or three times then we're just gonna gently lay that in there We'll get our other Oki legs in too. Now we're just going to let that slowly simmer away for about an hour and 20 and it's going to go as tender as. So first we're going to dice up our spring onion, parsley and coriander. I better be quick, it's starting to wilt in the sun nice and fine. So what we're doing is making our vinaigrette into the bowl. Next we got our parsley. How good's parsley? Freshens everything up, parsley. Equal parts, coriander and parsley. And of course, spring onions. Slice them on a 45 degree angle, makes them look nice. 
Mm-hmm. That's looking good. How good are fresh herbs, by the way? Another one of those things that I just can't get enough of, especially with seafood, is lemon zest. Gives it a nice zing. In goes our lemon zest, a spoon of garlic, maybe half a tea, half a tea of garlic, and some fresh chili. And I sample a little bit of chili. Now one of the things I like, which I'm gonna do in an upcoming episode, is pickled ginger. I make this stuff myself, and it is great. In this recipe, it goes absolutely superb. So we're just gonna slice that. Slice that like little, like little matchsticks, I guess. Now this is where we get our sauce happening. Gonna put a good tablespoon of fish sauce for the salty aspect. Maybe a bit more. A good glug of extra virgin olive oil. And a squeeze of lemon juice. Definitely a crack this time of good black cracked pepper. And again, my homemade chili oil, which I'll show you in another episode. Just a drizzle of that, because it's got a bit of whack. Wow. Give it a taste. Ah, oh, yum. So we'll put our vinaigrette off to the side and get onto our hockey. Ooh, our hockey's looking good. Oh, oh, it feels super tender too. Have a look at that. Simmer it away for about 45 minutes and then I let it sit in its own heat for another 45 and it's actually almost breaking up as I try and lift it out. Wow. That has just gone through no resistance at all. And what I like to do is just remove that slimy skin. Just grab it and it sort of peels off really easy. Beautiful. Look at that. They're looking good. Drizzle a bit of olive oil so they don't stick. Okay, that's exactly what I'm after. White hot smoke. Let's go for it. Now I don't know what it is about hockey, but it seems to have a very high burning point. It's not like uh, a steak where you can cook it and within a couple of minutes it's going to be burnt to a crisp. The um, often just fibres in it just seem to um, handle the heat for long periods of time and it just gets a really nice char and I'll tell you what, if you're not an Oki lover after this recipe, I don't know what to do. How good does that look? Got our Oki and our vinaigrette. You can see the knife goes through pretty much with no resistance at all. Put that onto our plate. Yum. These little crispy end bits, oh, they're some of the best. Now, we're gonna get our fresh vinaigrette. This is like liquid gold, this stuff. And we're just gonna splash it over the top. Maybe a little bit of, a little bit of extra fresh chili. Oh, <laughs> how good does that look? I mean that, that is superb. That is seriously superb. A few drops of lemon. This is a winner. The best bits. I guarantee once you try it, you'll love it. So if you like my style of video, you know what to do. I do my absolute best to pump out one every two to three weeks. I hope to catch you on the next one. Ciao.